Hello students, welcome to maths lecture. So in the last lecture we have done solved examples which are given on page number 71. Okay, so today we are starting with our problem set 34. So let's uh, see, using the figures given below, frame problems based on profit percent or loss percent and solve them. Okay, so in this problem set what we have to do? Uh, based on the given information, we have to make our own problems, we have to frame our own problems and we have to solve those problems, okay? But the problems are based on profit percent and uh, loss percent, okay? So, <clears throat> let's see first, first one, cost price rupees 1600 and saving price rupees 2800. So, in this question, only two things are given that is cost price and selling price. So, based on this two information, given information, uh, you have to uh, frame your own problem. So, now <clears throat> for this uh, first one, I will show you how to frame the question. Then for the rest of the questions, you have to frame the questions by your own. Okay. So, first cost price is 1600 and selling price 2800 so let's take mr mehta bought a mixer for rupees 1600 And he sold it for rupees 2800. What was his profit or loss? Question mark. Find out the percentage of profit or loss. Okay, you have to copy down this question. Mr. Mehta bought a mixer for rupees 1600 and he sold it for rupees 2800. What was his profit or loss? Question mark. Find out the percentage of profit or loss. So, in the question, they have given you only the two things that is the cost price and the selling price. Based on this both information, I have framed this question. Okay? So, you have to, you have to so frame your own question for each of the sum and you have to solve the sum so i will tell you how to i will show you how to solve the sums but uh, i will not uh, give you the framed questions you have to frame questions for your own okay so i hope you might have copied down the question now let's solve this sum okay so according the question uh, the cost price of a mixer rupees 1600 selling price of a mixer is rupees 2800 you have to find out whether it is a profit or loss and also the loss percentage or profit percentage so here selling price is greater than cost price Therefore, it is a profit. Here, selling price is greater than cost price. Therefore, it is a profit. Therefore, profit is equal to formula. Selling price minus cost price. Two 
1800 minus 1600. 0, 0. It minus 6, 2. 2 minus 1, 1. So, the profit earned by Mr. Mehta is rupees 1200. Okay? Till here. Now, the next part, we have to find out the profit percentage of Mr. Mehta. So, let the profit percentage be x percent. Therefore, x percent is equal to x upon 100. Percentage are always out of 100. That is why x upon 100 is equal to profit owned by Mr. Mehta. 1200 upon cost price. Percentage, profit percent or loss percent are always calculated on the basis of cost price. So, we will take a denominator as a cost price. So, cost price is uh, 1600. Okay. Therefore, x is equal to 1200 multiplied by this 100 will come here. Upon 1600. 0, 0, gone. Now, we are having 1200 multiplied by 1, 1200 upon 16. So, 1200 divided by 16. 16, 7 is 112. 8, 0, 0. We will take this 0 down. 16, 5 is 80. So, we got the answer 75%. So, therefore, the profit percent of Mr. Mehta is 75% and the profit earned by Mr. Mehta is 1200 rupees. Okay? Alright. Next one. Cost price rupees 2000, selling price rupees 1900. Again, um, for this second one, you have to frame your problem on your own. I will just show you how to solve this. Cost price, they have given you 2000 rupees and selling price 1900 rupees. We have to find out whether it is a profit or loss. Here, selling price is less than cost price. Cost price is greater. So, therefore, it is a loss. Here, cost price is greater than selling price. Therefore, it is a loss. So, now we have to find out loss. So, the formula for loss is cost price minus selling price. 2000 minus 1900 plus is 100 rupees 100 okay now loss percentage let the loss percent b x percent x percent is equal to x upon 100 is equal to loss incurred 100 upon cost price 2000 therefore cross multiplication x is equal to 100 multiplied by 100 upon 2000 0 0 1 Therefore, x is equal to 100 multiplied by 100 upon 20. So, 20 ones are 20, 25 is 100. So, loss percentage incurred is 5%. Loss rupees 100 and loss percentage 5%. Okay? You have to frame question for this. 
problem. Now the third one. Cost price of eight articles is rupees one thousand two hundred each. Selling price rupees one thousand four hundred each. Now here in this question, cost price of eight articles is rupees one thousand two hundred each. Means, uh, I will show you how to frame this question because this question is little different. Okay, cost price of eight articles is rupees one thousand two hundred each. Um, let's take. Cost price of eight bed sheets is rupees one thousand two hundred each. Selling price is rupees one thousand four hundred each. CP. Therefore, it 
ISO profit. Therefore, profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. 11, 200 minus 9, 600. So, profit is rupees 1600. Now, we have to find out the profit percentage. So, let the profit percent be x percent. Therefore, x percent is equal to x upon 100 that is equal to profit 1600 upon cost price 9600. x is equal to cross multiplication 1600 multiplied by 100 upon 9600. 0, 0, gone. Therefore, x is equal to 1600 into 1, 1600 upon 96 if we divide this by 16 16 6 the 96 1600 is a 1600 so therefore x is equal to okay 100 upon uh, 6 okay if we divide this by 2 so 2 3 is a 6 2 50 is a 100. So, 50 upon 3. Now, we have 50 upon 3 means 50 divided by 3. 3, 1 is a 3, 2, 0. 3, 6 is a 18. Okay. So, we got question as 16, remainder as 2. So, we will convert it into mixed fraction. Like we will take write this 3 as it is in at denominator's place. Then 3, 16. See, 3, 16 is 48 plus 2, 50. 3, 16 is 48 plus 2, 50. Okay. So, 16 and 2 by 3 percentage is the profit percentage. Okay. Understood? Okay. So, today we will stop here. Your today's homework, you have to practice this three sums which we have done today. Again, enter your maths notebook. And uh, also, uh, I have told you that frame question for problem for question number two on your own. So, you will do that. Okay. So, in the next lecture, we will continue with the rest of the three sums. Till that, stay safe, stay healthy and take care. Thank you.